You put uh, Air Asia Philippines IPO on hold. Did you feel like the IPO market was not ready, or what was the hit? No, there? I think we've just kind of regrouped, right? Um, we were able to acquire 100%. Mm -hmm. That changed a lot. Uh, we're very bullish in the Philippines and Indonesia. These are two markets. We're bringing in wide bodies into both those markets. Uh, Philippines sits on the doorstep of Korea, China, uh, Japan, and so we think there's a huge opportunity there. It's a, it's a beautiful country. And Indonesia, I just returned from, is is really, you know, I've been a big believer in ASEAN mm. for 21 years. I built AirAsia, built on ASEAN. Um, you know, very soon we'll open our fifth airline in ASEAN in Cambodia. Mm. And uh, Indonesia is is really rocking, and I think ASEAN has its natural leader in driving. And, I, and the message now from Indonesia is ASEAN is good. Um, for many times, I think, maybe they thought ASEAN, they were bigger than ASEAN. Mm. But uh, so that bodes well for us. And, uh, you know, Philippines, we just take our, our time okay. to, to restructure okay. as we're doing the practice note, and then we'll make the necessary announcement soon. Okay. So, so it's can... mostly not driven because of the market. Mm -hmm. It's driven by the fact that we want to get our own house in order, clear things up, yeah. and then evaluate. Okay.